Hi, Alex from LPA Power here and welcome to the show where we discuss how to translate car technology from real life into Lego. In this episode we cover the final basic stuff regarding front suspensions. So here is the standard Lego double wishbone suspension. Both wishbones and the steering links have the same 6 stud length. As a result there is no bump steer, no toe in and no toe out, just the way we want it to be. Of course, the equal length wishbones produce the undesired effect that in cornering the contact patch of the tire is reduced because it leans in an equal angle as the rest of the body. But for now, let's forget about all the complex geometry that we have learned about so far and just focus at the topic on hand. In the previous episode we have seen that the rear multilink suspension steers slightly when compressed. This is an effect that is called bump steer. While it's desired at the rear of the car, the opposite is true for the front suspension. Bump steer occurs if the steering link is not the same length as the suspension arm that it is closest to, or if the steering link is not parallel with that suspension arm, or if we have a situation when both of these conditions apply. As you can see in the video, Bump steer on the front suspension need, needs to be avoided at all costs. The example here is an exaggeration to show you more clearly what I mean, but it makes the car unstable and handle horrible. The other terms we hear regarding steering are toe in and toe out. While in real life applications both are desired and useful, we do not want any in our Lego vehicles. Simply said, Toe out is typical in front wheel and all wheel drive cars because the wheels get pulled in when power is applied. Toe in is typical in rear wheel drive cars where the car pushes the wheels apart when driving. The example in the pictures is again an exaggeration to better show you the effect. The last thing I'd like to talk about in this episode is something that I often see in MOC models on brick shelf. The steering links are angled back. As you can see here, this is a very bad idea. Not only does it create bump steer, because the projected steering link axis is shorter than the wishbones, but it makes the wheel very unstable and transmits huge forces to the chassis. I understand the reasoning of some people why they do it, but this is lazy and bad engineering. Packaging does not always take precedence over such a basic thing as steering. That's it for today. Next time we take a look at the front multi-link suspension setup. See you there.